National Airlines Flight 16 was a domestic US scheduled passenger flight from Miami, Florida to Lakeland, Florida that crashed on the 5th of October 1945. The aircraft was on the last leg of a Miami Fort Myers Sarasota St. Petersburg Tampa Lakeland route. The cause of the crash was determined to be a faulty missed approach procedure, which caused the aircraft to overshoot the runway and land in the water approximately 1,000 feet 300 meters beyond. Two passengers drowned, and several others were injured. Aircraft and crew Flight 16 was serviced by a Lockheed Lodestar 18-50 that had been manufactured in 1942 for the U.S. Army Air Corps. The aircraft was owned by the Defense Plant Corporation, and was leased to National Airlines. The airframe had accumulated a total of 1,798 hours of airtime, 628 hours of which had occurred since its last overhaul. The aircraft was one of only 13 Lodestar 18-50s variants built out of a total of 625 Lodestar 18s. The aircraft was piloted by Captain William Merrill Corrie, an employee of National Airlines since November 1943. Captain Corrie had a total of 4,800 hours of flight time, and 851 hours on a Lockheed 18-50. The co-pilot was First Officer William Hawley Conrad, an employee of National Airlines since 7 May 1945. First Officer Conrad had 5,247 hours of flight time, with 409 on a Lockheed 18-50. The stewardess was Ethel Catherine McCoy. <laughs> flight and crash The aircraft, a Lockheed 18-50 Lodestar, departed Miami at 9.12 p.m. on 4 October 1945, one hour, 15 minutes behind schedule due to delays in previous flights. The flight progressed normally during stops at Fort Myers, Sarasota, St. Petersburg, and Tampa. The plane departed Tampa at 12.45 a.m. and continued towards Lakeland. Lakeland reported nine miles of visibility with scattered clouds at 500 feet 150 meters. At 12.58 a.m., at seven miles from the airfield, the pilots established a straight in descent to the northeastern runway. The descent continued normally until the aircraft reached 600 feet 180 meters, when the aircraft abruptly entered an unexpected cloud. This prompted the captain to retract the landing gear and tell the first officer that he was going to initiate a missed approach, and go around for a second attempt at landing. Witnesses on the ground observed that the aircraft continued along the runway at approximately 30 to 40 feet (9.1 to 12.2 meters) above the surface. It passed the end of the runway and struck the surface of the lake adjacent to the Lakeland Airport approximately 1,000 feet 300 meters beyond the end of the runway. The aircraft skipped an additional 1,000 feet 300 meters, shedding fuselage covering as it went, before sinking in 10 feet 3.0 meters of water, two passengers drowned. All other occupants escaped from the wreckage and were rescued by locals within 30 minutes. Topic. Investigation Civil Aeronautics Board investigators examined the wreckage and determined that there had been no malfunction or failure of aircraft equipment. The condition of the wreckage indicated that the plane had first struck the water in a level belly flop. The Civil Aeronautics Board determined that because of the captain's unfamiliarity with the aircraft specifications, he waited too long to commit himself to the go-around procedure, dooming the aircraft as immediate action was necessary. The cab also determined that the pilot had available alternative procedures which would have enabled him to complete the maneuver safely. The cause of the crash was ultimately determined to be due to pilot error. 